and hello again friends welcome to the crusader kings 2 now uh before we start i need to apologize for not making video videos for uh quite some times i've been neglecting my youtube channel for about a month or something i'm really sorry about that i will try to make uh videos every single day or at least uh, one video per, per per week per several days but i i hope you will you will forgive me for not pardon for not making videos for quite some time i've been to holidays to corsica do some did some stuff but voila now uh we are starting the new campaign in crusader kings i will not uh, neglect i will not stop my uh ongoing series i will continue them but for now i really want to play this game uh because uh, I'm really hooked up on it. I started to play Crusader Kings uh, relatively uh, not long ago and I am a huge fan of this game already. It's really, really ex extremely interesting. So, uh, for this series, we are going to play as the King, Petty King of Essex. It's here. Uh, I did. Uh, approximately the same campaign of camera as the King of Wessex and I was I managed to take all the England and uh, Wales Ireland Scotland pick one uh, create uh, an empire but uh, playing as Essex is kinda more difficult in the beginning now uh, why it's more difficult because uh, if you look we are far far weaker than Wessex who owns four territories the guy has much more troops than we have and what is the most unfortunate we are a tributary of Mercia which is here a big big bullet for now uh, for this let's play I created my character with with uh, house, my own house, it's Petty King, King Swithriot of Essex of House England. Now, uh, he's not particularly good at anything, he's 22 years old, he's a tough soldier, not, not really a brilliant strategist or a really good commander, but he knows how to stand in a shield wall. We are a legitimized bastard. Uh, let's pretend that since we are a uh, tributary to Mercia, that all the noble lords of the house Ingrin died in this war which we lost and Mercia made us into a tributary. And we, legitimized bastard, are the last of our line and basically our mission is to restore our house to glory. Now, uh, what I would try what I'll try to do what I want to try to do in this let's play I want to take all the English lands Anglo-Saxon lands create the Kingdom of England and and then we will see maybe we will go for the Empire of Britannia we will see but for now our mission is pretty 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 simple we need basically to survive because we are in a dire dire position uh, because we have Mercia here, big powerful country. We have Wessex here, also relatively powerful, powerful uh, kingdom. We have some weak kingdoms here, which we will conquer. I hope first. Uh, we have uh, East Anglia and we have Northumbria, but at least we are not close to them, so they will start their war I hope with Mercia and we will be able to snatch some lands while Mercia are fighting with Northumbria. Now uh, during this let's play I will uh, try to explain as much as possible uh, for those people who are new to this game and also for some of my friends uh, who watch my videos and I know that they didn't play or haven't played or don't play Crusader Kings so for those people explanation would be really really nice uh, but also it's not a tutorial series or something just I will try to explain uh, things and I hope if you are familiar to Crusader Kings it 
it won't be it won't be boring for you but we will see okay uh so first things first we uh we need to choose our ambition and and for now we are not going to see the realm prosper i hope we will go to war pretty time soon uh it's basically impossible i suppose to become paragon of virtue or exalted among men so let's uh groom a hair which will increase my uh, fertility for some time yeah for 20 percent and until we have until we have a son uh, fully grown and as our focus i would like to choose the marshal because uh because uh, this will, I, I hope, will give some event, events to, to become a more skilled commander. Okay, and we need to continue our line, so we need, really need to marry. Now, we have three princes of Lombardy. They are 24 years old, which is not great, really not great. Uh, let's see at our states. They, they are thirty clerk. Fortune builder is really really good. Uh, she's cynical. Chase is not not fantastic since she's twenty five years old and chased. Uh, I'm not sure that she will able to give us many children. Trusting is not. Uh, uh, Trusting is alright, but okay. Content. It's, it's basically nothing. I don't want to marry her else because my god she's so fat. Uh sorry, uh because she's slothful. Yeah. So uh let's let's see who are Oh nice, you are aggressive leader, but you are 29, 20, 29 years old. Well now I I suppose I have to marry some princess of Lombardy because uh I really don't want to have neg negative prestige it, since we don't have a lot and if I, if we marry like a courtier we'll have a negative prestige and it it won't make it make uh, some actions impossible in the beginning so let's let's try with this girl she's she's native 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 appeaser it's not good Ross is all right envious is all right honest is okay and temperate is basically all right and we will have 100 prestige from that which is nice okay hopefully just hopefully we will be able to make an alliance with the king of lombardy uh, yes, let's have gold to the great king Svetrad, uh, right your wisdom and mercy and legendary, yeah, we are legitimate bastard, nobody, nobody knows about us. Okay, you accept. Alright. So now we have a wife. Um, let's see, can we have a, an alliance with Lombardy? Yes, yes, but do we need this alliance? Yes, I suppose, why not? Uh, But well, he will not be able to send many troops here. But all right, all right. Now uh, you can have an alliance with some king if you are basically married to their children or or have some uh, family connections. To them. Okay, let's have an alliance with you, and let's hope that uh, our wife will give us some sons. Well, uh, now it's not really super nice because if we look at our inheritance law. We have Gavelkind, and Gavelkind is not—it's uh, not the end of the world, but it's not—it's uh, not the one. It's not my favorite type of inheritance, inheritance, because our titles will be divided among our children after our death. Uh, now, what's what's good is primogeniture, and this is why playing uh, again playing as uh, Wessex is much easier at the earlier stage of the games because they among other uh, other Anglo-Saxon kingdoms I'm not sure about Mercy and Northumbria uh, but 
compared to us, they have primogeniture since the beginning. And primogeniture basically means that your eldest son or, or a daughter, if you don't have any sons or have like, uh, cognatic, absolute cognatic law, will inherit every title. Now, uh, to pass the primogeniture law, we have uh, to develop our cultural uh, tech and legalism, which will take quite some time. So I hope uh, we will first go to elective monarchy and then switch to primogeniture. But first things first, we don't have any children yet. So uh, I would like to move our capital to Middlesex. Yes, from Essex to Middlesex. And make crown focus here. Now uh, let's quickly look at our council. Our chancellor, mayor, mayor with some unpronounceable name, is really, really bad. I want to change for this guy because he's twice the start in uh, diplomacy. And I would like him to fabricate a claim on the uh, on the kingdom of Shuri, petty kingdom of Shuri. Hopefully it will not take him too long, but yeah, it will it will probably take him a long time. Now our marshal is some bishop. He's not the best. Let's take our commander. And I would love you to train troops in Middlesex. Now Stuart Stuart is okay. I would love him to, 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 to collect taxes in Middlesex. Now our spy master is really, really bad. Mm, let's take you again. No, not again. And you will study technology in uh, Strike. Strike, for example. Steel technology. And you please research cultural tech. Now uh, let's hope our spy master will be able to steal cultural technology. Since yes, these um, Byzantines are much, much more, uh, much far developed in technology than we are, which is obvious at that time. Okay, and let's start. Okay, so uh, basically we need, he has all the mini, uh, all the mini Anglo-Saxon king as tributary. He has East Anglia, Kent, uh, Mercia and us as tributary. What do you want? You are, you want to marry our Cartier to your commander. Yeah, well, but I'm sure it will not, yes, I cannot make an alliance with you, which is unfortunate, it would be super nice to have uh, the Scottish King as our ally. ally. But it's not possible at this time. Now what can I do? I can, potentially. Okay. You double over in pain as you are suddenly beset by painful cramps. Nice. Uh, what I forget is that we have to have a court physician, so let's see whom we can. He has pretty good um, pretty good learning so let's take the bishop as our court physician and in laws let's pass revoke title yeah. since I want to revoke title of barony of Tottenham from this guy who really don't like me because I fired him from council but you're ugly and you you are you are basically you know, nothing so, if I revoke our title, it will upset all of our vassals at minus 15. It's not the end of the world since uh, we don't have any landed vassals. And our vassals or kinda lo love us or, or hate us, so it, it changes nothing. So, good sir, I want you to leave this post and I will take the barony of Tottenham or myself. Let's pass it. Oh, and he raised in rebellion against us. That's interesting. I've never seen a baron uh, who 
rebel against his lord, but it's not a big deal. Let's raise troops here. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, and let's raise troops in Westminster. Okay, I think we are going to win this fight. I am leading the troops. Okay, he loses the cramps. We are recovering from that. Okay. We can call the allies. <laughs> we can we can uh, call the King of Mercia. Even though we are technically his tributary, he can. Okay, we won this fight. And your experience in matters of war increased, and there are many things you will do definitely in the future battles. What will you focus on? We have aggressive leader, which is a uh, bonus to attack and. Uh, Uh, and kind of decrease our defense. We have defender, which is contrary, but I would prefer to be an inspiring leader. Nice. Okay, we have a chest pain. Okay, very well. Okay, we are recovered from the illness. Okay, that's good. Can we, commander? Okay, let's. Let's see, basically, actually, uh, okay, everybody on our council kind of not love us, but they're right. I have 70, no, 76 gold. What can I do? I can build castle walls, which slightly increase our tax income and our uh, levy size. But let's wait until we win the, the battle. Yeah, it will take sometimes. Yeah, uh, when you start the game, especially as a mini, as a mini king, uh, you basically have nothing to do. So let's speed up the time. Wait until we besiege the barony of Tottenham. Okay, they raided. Okay, we can teach our marshal to be also an inspiring leader, which is. Very, very, very good. Let's do that. It's great. We will be able to use him in the battles to come much, much more efficient. And okay, we won this war. Offer peace and force demand. And you, you are still baron, but you are. You are imprisoned by us, and now I can, I can do that. Okay. Voilà. And now we have Barony of Tottenham for ourselves, which will increase our army. Let's let's dismiss the levy. I'm sorry, friends. I have a phone call. I will answer and continue just quickly. And I'm back. I'm sorry. Uh, what worries me is that our wife still uh, doesn't want to give us a child. Now, if I send you a mini gift, it will increase your opinion of us. You can see your opinion of us here. Let's hope it will be enough for you to love us. Now, uh, how much money do we make? We really don't make much money since we pay some money this guy which is really 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 annoying but now we have much more troops we have maximum of uh, almost 1300 and okay finally we have a claim on Shuri so let's use it let's see whether King of Shuri have any packs uh, no he has packed with his wife <laughs> Okay, I will declare war and I will claim your land. I can call King of Kingdom of Lombardy, but it's kind of kind of strange since Lombardy is far far away and really they will come they would come when all would be finished. Uh all is finished. So let's declare war. Oh, uh, maybe I did it a little bit too early since uh our troops didn't recover uh, from, but we still have more than he does. So technically, we will be able to beat him. Let's put. So, actually, can we have better commander? Let's see our commanders here. 
we can have no not obviously no siege leaders but let's put the mayor of London who hates us uh, as a commander and let's hope that he will be slain okay let's go there oh and finally our wife is pregnant yes we uh, won this battle so we can be flat terran expert we have another trade since uh, mountain now if we look at inland it's mostly plains i suppose so the flat terran expert is really 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 good for us in plains farmlands and step now if we are going to go uh, to fight but we are not going to fight uh, against uh, against whales anytime soon, so it's better to take flat turn expert. Okay. okay, let's slow down a little bit. We beat him and now we have to siege his domain. And while doing so, let's move our Chancellor to Sussex take Sussex would also be nice let's hope let's hope it's it will be a son but maybe it will be a daughter which is also right we will be able to marry her to some to some to some guys and uh, ask for military alliance it would be quite nice to have uh, Wessex or Northumbria or Pictland uh, or some Irish lord as, as our ally or even East Anglia even though soon we will try to conquer them oh and we already have the climb, climb, on, climb on Sussex which is extremely extremely good let's use it and uh, let's I'm sorry. Steam notification. Okay, you can go. Uh, okay, we cannot switch him. Now, uh, in this game, you can have claims on some territory, and basically, uh, there are several cases by which you can declare war, and uh, claim is one of them. You can declare war to make a uh, guy tributary or can declare a holy war but against your own uh, your own group of religion like Catholics you can only declare war uh, by claim I suppose uh, now we have claim on these two provinces now due to our uh, chancellor who fabricated them and we also have claims on these two provinces because if we press the Jure Duchess, we can see that the Duchy of Essex uh, contains uh, four territories Middlesex, Essex, uh, Bedford, and Northampton. Now, these two provinces are currently occupied by the goddamned Mercians, but we will uh, take them back once we are strong enough to fight with them. But for now, let's uh, pick the mini kingdoms and take them to ourselves. Now we are losing money on this war since we raised our, all our army, but it's okay. Okay, that's not very good. It's a daughter. A daughter was born, but it's okay. I will not marry her uh, just yet before we have a son because if we die and we marry our daughter uh, and we will not marry her matrilineally it will be basically the game over not 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 necessarily the game over but uh, but it will be much more difficult we, will, we would have to kill our husband and uh, marry someone matrilineally which can be quite difficult okay that's nice we occupied we uh, took the castle and now we have to took bishop tree and city. It's nice. It's good.
Now, which is not good is that consumption, the tuberculosis, it's all over England. I hope, I hope we will not die from it, but it's quite possible. We can close the gate and lock ourselves uh, within our castle, but I'm not. I mean, I'm not going to do that just yet. Okay, and our wife avoids us. Okay. The poor thing, uh, the poor thing, I will do what I can for sure. 53% uh, of Princess Gerberga gets good care. Okay, let's do that. Hope she... she'll get over. No, she died. So we have to marry another another one. Let's see who we can marry. Courtier. Any any woman of high status is no. You are how old are you? Oh no no no. She's one. No, I don't want to marry like one year old. You have you have good stats, in fact. Okay, let's marry you. And hopefully you will give us a son. A son or sons. But we'll see. We are still young. It's not the end of the world. Okay, and we won this war. You can uh, press your claim or enforce your demands when you have 100% of the war score. So let's do that and we took we took it for ourselves now we have Columbus okay now uh, I would love to go at war with you but I would prefer to wait a little bit until our troops recovers how are you doing these days King of Mercia would be nice uh, if you die Okay, our brilliant chancellor, I suppose, died of consumption. That's sad. And we don't have any good chancellors. We have only crap. But let's put you on the council, at least you will be more happy. Okay, and let's see with whom we can improve our relationships. You don't like me. You alright? You actually not bad. You dislike me too much. Okay. Actually this guy can be a very good commander for us, Mayor Wolf Wolfjit. Wolfjit. Okay, whatever, improve our relationships with him. I can potentially go and fabricate claim on Ken but it's uh, it's not really useful because uh, as I as I said if you have a claim if you have the title of duchy you have basically claim on all the lands within our duchy and if we took if we take uh, these two provinces we can usurp the title of duchy of Kent from this guy he actually hates me because he desires a country within within his uh, duchy. Uh, we can absorb the title from him, and then we will have Casus Belli, a reason to attack uh, his land and conquer him. Oh la la! Gains fever. I hope we will not die. Okay, okay. Thank you. <laughs> he has consumption himself. We have chest pain. Yeah, that's a consumption. Okay, okay. And we have a consumption. Uh, I don't want to go for uh, experimental treatment since he can make us into Enoch and it will be basically not the end of us, but it will be difficult to play our daughter at this time uh, play as the woman ruler 
it's not exactly great. So let's perform uh, usual treatment and let's hope I actually feel better. That's nice. Successful treatment. And our daughter is also sick. But he was able to uh, save her. Thank goodness. I hope he will not die himself. Okay, and you collected money in Middlesex, which is super nice. Not a great amount of money, to be honest, but it's alright. And our wife is pregnant. Let's hope it's a son. Let's hope it's a boy. And let's hope he will... Okay, she became gluttonous. Very nice. I hope the boy will not be gluttonous as, as you Frankish lady. And we became skilled tactician. Now, if you look uh, here, like many, many uh, characters in the game, especially noble race, have, uh, have the education traits. We had the education trait hat of tough soldier. It's uh, it's an education trait from the martial uh, education, as you can guess, uh, and it's not very good. It's not the end of the world, but it's not good. But because we concentrated ourselves on war focus, we lead the arms, we basically managed to change this uh, tough soldier into a skilled tactician, which is great because it gives us much, much more martial. And with it, we can raise much more armies. It's great. And we can become friends with this guy. It's super nice. I hope he will not die because he has he's a leaper and he has consumption. So I'm not going. I'm not thinking that this friendship is for a long time. I'm sorry. And we have our son. Finally, that's great. A son was born to King Swizzard of Essex and Queen Queen Lan. Swinda of Essex na named Senfus. Okay, <laughs> Senfus it's alright. Let's also raise him as a warrior. Like father, like son. Be a warrior, my son. We have to restore our house to greatness. Now, what about you? You don't want to die. Uh, we can uh, gain some prestige in the last fight. Yeah! Yeah, let's do that. I don't care about... I don't really care about piety at this moment. It would be super nice if this ridiculous king of Mercia dies. Now, uh, I think it's... Okay, my wife is sick. It's not very nice. That's okay. Now, uh, the thing is, uh, we potentially have much more soldiers than he does. But... Uh, East Anglia can't Mercia no not Mercia with, uh, with are his tributaries so if you go to war pardon if you go to war with him all these guys they will send their troops against us so now we have a son and we can uh, Mary Mo Mot. Do you have a son? Okay, okay, let's hope he will. No, he will not agree. Why? Because you don't like me. What about you? You have a son, I have a daughter. And yes, he would agree to these terms. It's super nice. He would agree. He would agree. It it is super super nice. I feel better. Thank goodness we recovered from consumption. Okay, he botched the treatment of our uh, wife. Well, uh, I don't want to put him in the dungeon, and I don't want to become a rival uh, with my wife. As you can see, there are many of these pop-ups, uh, and basically you have some choices here. Uh, now, when our court physician botched the treatment of our, of our wife, we can either put him into, into the dungeon, and he will be happy from that. He can, uh, we can speak with him and try to, try to, you know, 
calm the situation down, which I will do, or we can become the wife, or we can insult our wife, and she in 10% of chances that we will become rivals with our wife. I will not do that. I will try to tell some sense in him because he actually is a good court physician. He saved, he saved me. He saved my son and. So now, but offer an aggression pact. Yes, let's offer him an aggression pact. A wise choice, and form an alliance. Yes, we can form the alliance with Norsumbre. It's great. So now, if we go, you actually have no troops. Like basically no troops. I don't know. I don't know why. But it's all right. Now, if we uh, if we go to war with Mercia, you are a leaper, my friend. I hope you will die. Uh, I'm sorry to say it like that, but yes, I really, really do that. King Gofra of Mercia will die. Okay. Uh, you realize that to become a great fighter, you would need to get in better shape. There is a great uh, path in the nearby woods that would be excellent for running. Let's go running. It's nice because we will be able to... Violence seem to be able to solve all your problems. Life is easier when you can simply smash things into submission. We become Ross. It's super nice because I don't really care and I never care about intrigue and diplomacy. It can be nice sometimes but Marshall and Stewardship are basically two stats which I prefer the most in this game, so... So we, ha we are rules, that's good. We, we became better and better and better commander and warrior. We are 17 and it is super nice score. Let's see uh, how the rest of the world uh, goes. Now, uh, Umayyad is still conquering Ast Asturia, there is basically no hope for this guy. West France, yeah. uh, so Charlemagne became the both king of West France and East France. He also conquered Saxony, but now he has to deal with the pagan revolt here. Okay, nice. That's good. The rest of the world is uh, broken. I don't remember whether Lombardy started like that or they just conquered the part of uh, Maghreb, Maghrebian region. Byzantine uh, are fighting rebels, it's okay. Abbasid is powerful. Okay, and here the complete chaos is going on. Alright, that's okay. And now, uh, do we have... Yes, we recovered our troops. How many do you have? You have... You don't have basically any troops. This guy has pretty damn damn good stats. He has his gregarious, diligent, chaste, patient. He would be a green king. He also is a cruel. But he will not be a king. I'm sorry, but we can call Norsumbre in, which I don't really care. I can pretty much deal with this war on my own. Let's put all the cam... Wait. We are leading the center. But let's quickly look at our commanders. Where are you? Why you don't lead the troops? No idea. Okay. Uh, you will be a good commander. Okay. You hate me and I hope you will perish. In Okay, let's go to war. He's trying to run away, but it isn't going to happen. Okay, that's good. Let's beseech his land. Oh, I didn't look whether he has... No, he has a pact with his wife. Okay, <laughs> non-aggression pact with his wife. At least he maybe has some good family life. Walking alone on the battlements light. Battlements light. Late one night, you sudden, suddenly see a shining white shape appearing in the sky above you. It seems to be moving towards you, or maybe away. There is a strange sound in the air too, 
like a whispering. What's going on? The virgin has appeared to me. I have been blessed. Strange how clouds and wind can play tricks on one's mind. We can either become zealous or cynical. Well, zealous is much more better. We again will have more martial and more church opinion. It's great. So we are 19 basically on martial. And looks like Mercy is going to war against whom? Aha, you also want this territory. My god, but you will not be able to take them because I already besieged them. I'm sorry, Mercia. Aha, and Kent. Kent, why can't why can't his forces are aggressive to me? It's because that makes no sense. Okay, I don't care. Aha, we are <laughs> So these fools are fighting themselves and he's he's hostile towards us. Uh, because he also wants uh, Sussex, so we basically are uh, contesting this land between us. It's okay, he will not get anything, I will get Sussex for me. And this freak cannot attack us for the same reason, because we unfortunately are his uh, suzerain tributary. <laughs> Unfortunate for him, not for me. And soon, when this guy will die and he's a leaper and a lunatic, can I kill him? Uh, he's a leaper and a lunatic, we will take his land. <laughs> and it's funny because uh, the Mercians are basically helping me to besiege this land, but since we started the siege, it will belong to me. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry, but it will be mine, not yours. victory and our wife is pregnant again now with the gavel kind succession having having more sons would be potentially a problem but let's hope that um, before we die we will be able okay we want this war let's offer peace and force demands voila we took this territory ah, and the bastard is still is, is still uh, aggressive towards us let's beat the shit out of Ken let's beseech his uh, let's beseech his territory now I hope you have some money within which I can potentially take and let's hope it's a no it's not a cultural tech but here our technology trees, it's a military economy and cultural. Now we have uh, potentially... Now we can have... Uh, now we can increase something in our, in our military tech and I want to go for heavy infantry because for our nation, for Anglo-Saxon, it's... Uh, for our kind, it's uh, the, the most favorite troops the most numbers among us if we look here it says that we have much more much much more of heavy infantry okay let's take camp for ourselves you also have stables in camp oh no we cannot take camp for ourselves so uh, and it's okay So now, let's quickly look at our vassals. Only one guy, mayor uh, of what? Of this place dislikes us. Why you dislike me? Because you think you are a powerful vassal and you are not invited. Let's improve relationships with him and after that I hope I will be able... Okay. So he invites us into a war. Blessing upon your house. We request that your honor, that you honor your obligation and answer this call uh, to arms against. Uh, <laughs> ah, it's it's an Arsumbria. Okay, okay, okay. I was thinking for a second that it's Mercia who asked me, who commands, who commands me in fact to go to war. But since it's an Arsumbria, I will send the troops to help them. Because I would love to have uh, positive uh, relationships with them. So 
let's quickly finish with camp. And then, okay, a son, a son was born, and the title will be. It's it's actually twins, a son and a daughter. We are really blessed by a, a virgin. Uh, you will study etiquette because there is no other way for women at this time. I'm sorry. And you will also be a warrior, my son. Now uh, we will lose these two, these two provinces for our son. But uh, since we are the king, uh, and these are earldoms or petty kingdoms, I hope uh, in case we die right now and our son became king, these two will be uh, his vassals, his vassal lands. But uh, I hope that before that we will be able to switch until uh, at least to elective monarchy. Yeah. And I hope that in the nearby future we'll be able to increase. I'm sorry. Our legalism. Uh, our legalism to three and switch to primogeniture and. And voila. Because for primogeniture we have to have uh, late feudal administration. And to have la la uh, late feudal administration we need to have legalism at level at least 3. Which is actually kind of long way to climb at least in the beginning of the game. Okay, we will besiege him very, very soon. Now he with his mini troops unab is unable to actually do anything against this. Okay, we won against Kent. Let's offer peace and force our demands. And let's go and help our friends here. But let's not go let's take half of the army since raising all the troops cost us kind of big amount of money I will I will dismiss half of the army and I will go and help him here so we will have a positive opinion yes he, he kind of likes us because we honored our obligations it's nice. Late in the game we will conquer all the North Umbria. I'm sorry, but for now it's our friends. So now this guy improved relationships with his No, you dislike me even more. Why? Why you are such an asshole? Because you want to sit on the council. They cannot put you on the council. You are basically a zero. Well, I have a zero at the council already, so Chancellor is my god, he's so bad. I hope he will die from he from the chest pain. I'm sorry to say such things, but really that's a sad, sad, sad guy. Yeah, we have plenty of people who really, really dislike him. Mayor of something. Mayor of something has pretty good martial skill. You are basically a nobody guy, so get out. I will... Oh no, it, it's not us, it's, uh, it's the king of North Sombria. So. But still, this guy is nobody, if he will be upset I don't care. I would prefer to take this guy, yeah. He has a huge martial score. Okay, let's, tr okay, let's train troops with him here. Now. I don't need uh, this guy to fabricate claim. He's impro oh no no no, he's not fabricating claim. He's improving his relation, uh, our relationship with this guy. It's all right. So uh, now we have some amount of money. I would love to build Castle Town when we have 146. Yes. Let's build a castle town, which will increase our tax income at least a little bit. 
and it will increase our and our wife is pregnant again my god woman it's because she's lustful and we have this groom a hair trend groom a hair yeah an air I'm sorry an air uh, task uh, ambition okay we can uh, teach this guy he's a brilliant strategist how to be uh, an inspiring leader or a flat terrain let's teach him on uh, flat terrain yes he's a flat terrain expert it's super good this guy is really 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 good now king of northern bread are you I hope you are not too no you're not old in fact you are very very young and I hope our pact will stay for a long time now now ah look at this look at this beautiful situation the old bastard king of mercy is dead and now we are no longer his tributary but what is much more important is that all the mini uh, kingdoms all the mini petty anglo-saxon kingdoms are not his tributary and it means that he has only 1000 levies and he also owes, Jew, owes money to Jews. <laughs> and he's at war against uh, Gloucester. It's these many things. With... Okay, so us. Uh, so uh, soon I will declare war on you, my friend. I will declare war and I will take Bath back, Northampton and Bedford from you yes okay let's just quickly uh, deal with this revolt so our Northumbrian friends will be able to join us in this campaign against Mercia again for liberation of our lands from the Mercian ruler of Sirlar okay and it's basically the end so voila voila Northumbrian Northumbrians won. I will quickly, quickly make my so soldiers back home. Again, another son. It's good. It's good that we have another son because now these two lands, in case of our unexpected sudden death, uh, will go to these two boys. And it's nice. Uh, and it's better than to have both of these lands belong to 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 just one second son. It's better. Okay, we can dismiss our troops. Okay, let's. Okay, I imagine a situation which became more and more intimidating, with an outcome that could mean life or death. I swallowed hard and decided and decided that I would obviously I would stay put, stay put and fight. No. We didn't become uh, brave, which is sad, but... Okay, so you won. So you won against this poor guy. But he has 95. I will declare war on you. Now, I would... What would I take Bedford? Ah, it's basically the same. Let's take Bedford, because it's kind of closer to our lands, declare war. Claim Bedford, Northumbria will come, and let's call Northumbria. Let's raise our glorious army to the honorable King Thrith Thrithred. May you live in harmony and content. Of course, I will honor my obligation and answer your call to war. Oh yeah, thank you. Thank you, Eld of Northumbria. Okay. Yeah, Mercians stand no chances here since they don't have my many troops. Let's put. Again, we don't. We are short in commanders. Why? Whom can we? Okay, we can nominate Osmond, who is an inspiring leader. Osmond. Where is our? He's forbidden to lead the armies. No, I want you to lead the army. You are not here. Why? 
Mm, that's strange. Okay, anyway. We'll be good even without him. Okay, let's quickly decimate this guy. Try to beat his armies before they are able to form. We beat this guy. They're trying to besiege our territory. Let's go there and destroy them. Yeah, they stand no chances against us. He has some money. Yeah, that's true. Okay, our Northumbrian friends are having quite a difficult time. But we are able to save them. And... And he asked the disgusting Pictish king to join him. But <laughs> this guy has no troops. Do you have any parts? Okay, bastard have parts. We speak. Okay, let's see. We have we have another daughter. Okay, what if I mean betrothal? You mini boy and my daughter. What do you think? No, you don't want it. What an asshole. East Anglia. Who do you have? You have a boy. Arrange betrothal. With my daughter. You will betroth my daughter. That's, that's good. Okay. But I cannot forge an alliance because it's not... I can't make an alliance with you. You're nobody. Okay, so we basically wasted our daughter. It's okay. Not a big deal. <laughs> I'm sorry it sounds awful, I know. <laughs> okay, now it's time to marry our son. Or at least look whom we can marry. We can marry uh, a strong icon class Hazar girl. We can marry, but she's a little bit too old for our son. Okay. Okay, I guess I guess it can wait. Now it can really wait. We are besieging their castle. It's nice. <laughs> the ridiculous king of Pickland sent 136 troops. Oh, that's, that's ridiculous, my friend. And our wife is pregnant yet again. Oh my god, woman. What's going on with you? Oh, no, 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 no. I pray that he will recover. Do we still have the fourth position? Yes, we want this siege. Let's quickly go and destroy their army before they are... before they besiege, besiege our capital. Yes, we destroy them. And let's take the rest things in Bedford. Bedford. Okay, okay. We took the city of Hethford and now Bishop Trick of St. Albans. St. Albans. Okay, it will not take long. Now, uh, the thing is to besiege a castle, it, it takes much, much, much more time than to take a Bishop Trick. Bishop Trick. Now, <laughs> what is Pictish can, Pictish king, Pictish army are doing? They, they cannot besiege Sussex. They just sent some troops, and instead of joining his ally, they just went to Sussex for no reason. They cannot do anything. Okay, I guess he just sent some troops uh, because he has to, but he doesn't want to wait them fighting me. So. How many troops do we have? <laughs> 200. Okay. Aha, uh -huh, you... You fight... You fought against Dalriata. Oh, but you was able to win. This is powerful struggle against so many islands. Of Irish Catholic. Who in fact have much, much more troops than you do. A daughter was born, and she's an imbecile. <laughs> Anyone want to marry imbecile? High chief of Fiorto. Okay, all these people. Earl of Northampton. 
Uh, okay. Okay, can wait. We will marry our imbecile daughter <laughs> to somebody a little bit later. Okay, we besieged everything here. We took everything. Let's yet again go and smash their army. Would be better to capture the king. No. No, and it's not enough war score, so we have to go and take their capital. Leicester. Which will not take too long. Pity we don't have any siege leaders. Mm-hmm. You want to besiege... Uh, you want to besiege what? Besiege our besiegers. Now, who will be faster? We or you? I don't know. I say let's go back and destroy him yet again. It will be just enough to have 100. Oh, I received word that your spy master Sigrink Offing uh, has been trying to learn the new technological advancement made in one of my counties. This is intolerable. <laughs> and asked uh, to stop further. Interference. I have arrested him. Okay, okay. Oh, you basically are iconclast. Wow, you betrayed the Orthodox faith. My god, you are. Um... Okay, offer peace, force our demands, and we took Bedford. For us. Now, we have much, much more troops than I suppose anybody among the among the among the English Anglo Saxon kingdoms and I suppose even more than anybody on the British Islands which is super nice. Let's make another spy master is this guy? Yes, why not? Oh no, it was not a good idea. He has one you are a terrible spy master, I'm sorry. I mistook. We need to make this guy spy master. And just do the same. <laughs> yes, he will not last for, for a long time. Okay, now we can uh, invest in something like that, but it's not a high priority right now. What I would love to invest is legalism, but it's doesn't look to be possible right now. Now, how much does it take to invest in... Uh, okay, we can actually pass the elective monarchy. Okay, and the unfortunate fact is that we have we hold more lands that we, we can. But we can just do this and it's alright. Uh, so, so, so. Let's quickly look at our vessels. Plenty of people hate me. Plenty of people. One, two, three. Because all these freaks want to be on a council. Now, let's see. Just to make them happy for one day. You are not a powerful vessel. So, you can get the fuck out. Since this guy is better. You are not a powerful vassal. So... But you are so good, you are better. 